Hey guys, welcome to my little segment of Hunt, Clean and Cook. Tonight, I'm going to have myself a nice little feast of deer heart. And for seasonings, I've got some salt, coarse ground pepper, little minced garlic, and I also love a little Lowry seasoning on there too. And then uh, some sweet onion. And we're going to add a little red wine to that too. And we may partake of a little of that ourselves. But first thing you want to do, get your heart all nice and cleaned up. Uh, basically slice it all up and get rid of anything white. You don't want any of that white fat. Uh, inside the chambers, there's like a white veiny material that you want to get rid of all that. So all you're left with is just pure red meat. And then we'll season it, both sides, with the little salt and pepper and the minced garlic and the Lowry's. And we'll get that all seasoned up. Basically all you want to do is just take and cover both sides with your salt and pepper. And then your Lowry's or any other seasonings that you might like. I like the Lowry's and and then I like the minced garlic. I like a real meaty garlic on there instead of just the garlic salt or flakes. Kind of pat it in, flip it over, do the reverse side. And there's really no right or wrong way to slice the heart up as long as you get it all nice and cut into Try and get it all cut into even pieces so it all cooks the same. Yeah, but we'll get that all seasoned up. Little Lowry's on there. A little more minced garlic. All right, there you go. Now we'll go get the old Blackstone heated up. Get ready to throw this on the grill. All right, getting the Blackstone good and hot. First thing we're going to start off, a couple sticks, little sticks of butter. And you don't want it too hot to where you scorch and burn the butter. Just want it melted. And then I'm going to start out with potatoes. Get the potatoes going first. Alright, and then while these are cooking, I'm going to use a little bit more of that salt and pepper and garlic and Lowry's. Kind of season that up. We'll just mix that all together. Get them all seasoned up. There we go. I like I throw my potatoes on first because they'll take longer. So I'll get them going first. Spread them all out so they cook evenly. Alright, potatoes are getting close, so now I'm going to add some onions. And then when these onions are about done, then I'm going to create a little circle. And then we'll drop the deer heart right in the middle of that and saute it with a little red wine. I'm just going to add a little more seasoning to where the onions are. Give those onions a little seasoning. Oh, they look 
looking good. And I'm just going to create a little pocket. middle of all that there and then we'll drop this steak hearts in there Now, this is a very lean meat, so you don't want to overcook it. If you overcook this, it's going to be real tough and chewy. And that's when people start saying it kind of tastes like liver or has a bad taste or just really tough to chew. So you don't really want to cook it too long on each side. Minute, minute and a half. And watch when you start seeing the edges turning brown, then that's when you'll get ready to flip it. Medium rare is about the ideal temperature. And then while that's cooking, we'll just add a little red wine. Well, that's cooking up nicely. You can see through the smoke. Well, take a little sample of that red wine. Oh yeah, that's going to hit the spot. All right, the edges are starting to turn brown, so we'll give them a flip. It's looking pretty good. We'll just give it a little bit more splash of red wine. And seeing how the steak got a little splash of red wine, I think we ought to take one too. And I'm going to go get a serving plate. And I think this is ready. All right. Okay, you want to make sure you scrape up all that minced garlic and the seasonings off the bottom. Oh, right, this looks good. inside see how this tastes we'll probably let the steak sit for a minute or two let it let them finish cooking and soaking up all that moisture back up in them then we'll cut into them and see how they taste so let's head into the kitchen all right boy does this look good Get a little bit of that on there we'll scoop on some little potatoes and onions 
You could also add bell peppers if you wanted to this. Mushrooms would have been good. I didn't even think of that until just now. Oh, should have threw some mushrooms in. Yeah. Oh, just perfect. Let me let you look at that. Nice, medium, rare. Ah. Mmm. That's what makes hunting really pay off and be worth it. Mmm. Well, I tell you, do not overlook the heart and throw it away. You don't know what you're missing. So, to everybody's success, next time you get one, remember, don't waste that heart. You'd be surprised at how good it tastes. So, thanks for watching, guys.